What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It is the Fly Young Gentleman here bringing you another wonderful Call of Duty Advanced Warfare video. And what am I going to be bringing you today? Well, shit, I'll tell you. I'm going to have a little conversation about why the gun balance feels so off. And you see the title of this video is Wings of Redemption made a strong point about gun balance. And you know why he made a strong point about gun balance? Because that motherfucker was dead on. Now, what he said was something along the lines of, and I, I'm, I'm kind of, you know, quote, not a direct quote. What he said was something along the lines of, you know, because of skill-based matchmaking, that's why all the guns feel like they're really bad, like they're poorly balanced. Uh, the reason why is because you're always facing people as good or better than you. And that's a good point. Uh, the people I play in this game are fucking phenomenal, man. It, it is not like I don't run into lobbies and like I'm like, oh, all these kids suck. Like it's very rare compared to like, you know, in all the past Call of Duties where, you know, now because we're platinum, you know, matchmaking ranking or super high rank, me and my buddies, it's every time we get into a game, we're facing people as good or better than us. It's crazy. I mean, it's it's really, really crazy. We're facing some hardcore motherfuckers and that's the problem you have to use the best of the best guns all the time because if you don't then they're going to be using them and they're going to beat you and that's something that 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 came into my mind and if you think about it i, I understand right you you have you know you shouldn't have guns that are that outstandingly overpowered uh but call of duty always has uh, every Call of Duty, hell, even my favorite Call of Duty to date, one of them, is Black Ops 2. I mean, we all know what a monster the PDW uh, 57 and the MSMC were until they were nerfed. And even after nerf, if you were good at recoil control, they were still monsters. And, you know, that just really goes to show you now, although there was a lot of monster guns in that game, which kind of shows that none of them were truly monster... It, there was still a couple outstanding, you know, guns that were way better than others. <clears throat> not so strong in Black Ops 2, you know, not such a big gap like it is in Advanced Warfare, but it was there. And in every Call of Duty, it's been there. And that's something we need to notice is that, you know, it's really hard to do the balancing. But there isn't that many guns in this game. Yeah, there's the variants, but base guns, there's not that many. Doing balancing shouldn't have been that hard. Battlefield 4, for example, does a wonderful job at balancing. Now, you know, I'm going to have a few people yelling at me saying that, no, that's that's not true. You know, you have your fucking, um, the Galil that's chambered in 7.62 millimeter, that's a, a carbine. And you have other guns like that are, that are really, really OP, but it's not that OP. I mean, I can beat him. I can beat that player if I get to jump on him. Whereas in Advanced Warfare, if I get to jump on somebody... And up close, they have an ASM-1 or a Bell-27, it's over. And that's something that, that, that does show you that, yeah, yeah, there is OP guns in this game. That's not what I'm saying is that there's not. What I'm saying is that you have to use the OP guns all the time because you're facing better players. You're facing players that are your skill level or higher. Even if you're a garbage player, those garbage players you're facing are as good as you and, and they're going to be better even maybe. So you always have to be on your wits. You know, you know, you, I'm sorry, you need to always be, you know, using your wits. You need to be on your tippy toes, ready for the next gunfight at all times. You know, you need to be checking every motherfucking corner. You need to be a tryhard at all times, which, <clears throat> you know, it's cool, but I wish they only did it for ranked play and clan wars. I don't like that they did it for regular. Like, when I want to go practice in TDM, I don't want to be going and facing all of the tryhards, you know, I don't want to be going in there and facing all my, you know, you know, shout outs to my platinum and diamond buddies, but I don't want to be facing you when I go on my first match of the day, you know, or the week even, and then just get my shit kicked in, you know what I mean? It's when I'm trying to relax and just mindlessly play when I, for my first game, I don't want to be playing like that, but hey, you know what? It makes us all better players. We may not, no one really is talking about that, but it does make us all stronger players. If you're only playing players that are as good or better than you, and slightly sometimes they can be worse than you, but not very much worse, it's going to be a lot of fun for making you a better player. Like next Call of Duty, you're going to be, you know, 
quote me on this. Quote me. I really want you guys to quote me on this. By the next Call of Duty, I think you guys are going to be at least like a whole point higher in your KD. Like maybe not from a one from a two, but I mean like a one point. No, more than that. You're going to be, okay, so instead of let's not like a 1.2 to 1.3, I think you guys are going to be like, let's say you're a 1.2 player right now. You're going to be, I think, in my opinion, you're going to be maybe a 1.5 player. And uh, that's that's if you only go for kills. Like, I'm, I don't play like that. I play a lot of ranked. I play a lot of try-hardy shit where I'm going for the win. I don't care about my KD anymore. Uh, I just care about, you know, being the best player I can be. So, you know, I think you can go for, if we're talking solely KD, I think you can definitely do it. And um, I think that's the benefit. That's the benefit to skill-based matchmaking that not a lot of people are talking about. It's making us better players. It really is. Now... Let's say Call of Duty, next Call of Duty, is a long time to kill Call of Duty. Sort of like the original Black Ops, where it takes quite a few bullets to kill someone. I feel like we're all going to be in a tough, tough luck. But I'm going to make a whole video about that. But I, I'm, I'm about the whole next Call of Duty and how I'm worried about it. But for right now, that's what I wanted to talk about. Wings of Redemption, you're a genius. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, it was a very, very... On point, Jordy, good job on that point. I like it because I, you're the only one I ever heard say that so far, and you are right. Uh, it's really, 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 really true. The you're, it, it's, you're playing better players. That's why you have to use the best of the best guns. And that's all. That's literally why I feel, and, and it's true. I mean, think about it, guys. All the players you're facing, you might have an occasional game where everyone sucks, but it's rare. It really is rare. So take that as some food for thought. Comment down below what you think about that. Tell me if you disagree or agree, whatever. And leave an honest rating on the video. I was a little bit all over the place towards the end. I need to be a little bit more to the point. I know, guys, I'm still getting more into it. But I'll return to my once proclaimed prowess. And I'll be back. Anyway, remember to half class to get that ass. I know I made a video on a Sunday. Give me a high five. We're going to be pumping out videos all week. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.